So today I am exploring the world of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, a tablet that packs performance and elegance in a slim form factor. Let's dive in. Before we jump into the details, let's quickly go over what you can expect to find in the box. Along with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 itself, you find a USB-C to C charging or data cable. There's no power adapter. Guess we are now way past that. A user manual in a box and a SIM, but in my case, just an SD card ejector. The tablet boasts of a stunning 11 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 pixels, providing sharp and vibrant visuals. The colors are rich and vibrant and brightness levels are excellent, making it a pleasure to use for consuming media and browsing with the web. It is powered by the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor, ensuring smooth performance and responsiveness, whether you're multitasking, gaming or editing documents on the go. The Tab S9 can handle it all with ease. With its general storage options, you can choose between the 120GB, 256GB variant if that's enough for you, or you can expand the storage further up to 1TB even with a microSD card support of up to 1TB. This gives you ample space for all your files, apps, and media files. The Tab S9 also supports the latest connectivity options, including Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.2, and USB-C 3.0. You can stay connected and transfer data quickly and efficiently. My model here is the Wi-Fi version with 12 gigabytes of RAM and the 256 gigabyte of storage. One standard feature of the Tab S9 is its S Pen compatibility. This S Pen stylus offers precise control and a natural writing experience, making it perfect for taking notes, drawing, and more. The S Pen also attaches magnetically to the back of the tablet, ensuring it is safe and ready to go and also within range when you need it. Additionally, the tablet comes with 8400 mAh battery and that provides an all day usage on a single charge, whether you're working on the go streaming or gaming. You can rely on the Tab S9 to keep up with your demands. And let's not forget about the impressive audio quality delivered by the built-in stereo speakers tuned by AKG. You probably would never hear the great quality of that audio, but if you are really close to it, you can feel it, you can see it, <laughs> you can literally see the sound. Literally, yeah. That's about the sound. The sound is immersive and clear, enhancing your overall media experience. My model here features 30 megapixels camera on the back with autofocus with flash and can record up to 4K 30 frames per second. The front camera is a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle lens and is positioned just at the right spot for meetings and calls, although I probably will not be using this a lot for those. With its IP68 water and dust rating, you can use your Tab S9 with some confidence in wet and dusty conditions, but I don't plan to do that because my last tab got water damaged. I'm still scared of that right now. Before we move on, let's briefly touch on the other tablets in the Samsung Tab S9 lineup. Alongside the Tab S9, Samsung also offers the Tab S9 Plus and the S9 Ultra. S9 Plus offers a larger display of 12.4 inches, making it ideal also for multimedia consumption and productivity tasks. It also features a larger battery, ensuring longer usage time. The Tab S9 Ultra, which is the big boy in the series, is a whopping 14.6 inches screen, which literally almost computers most laptops have there and it offers you, you know a laptop like experience when you are connected to a keyboard case giving you an immersive experience samsung also recently released the tab s9 fan edition which is generally about half or three quarter of the cost of the tab s9 and still offers some decent specs and this could be your choice if you're not looking for all the fancy and luxury features of the Tab S9 series that is on the premium. And this is what the pricing and major spec comparison between all the tabs in the Samsung Tab S9 series looks like. Having spent some time with the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9, I can say the design is sleek 
and more than with the slim bezels around the edges which makes it and gives it a premium build and quality feel feels great in the hands hold with a slim profile making it easy to carry around the display is absolutely stunning with vibrant colors and excellent brightness controls whether you're watching movies playing games editing photos videos everything looks incredibly sharp and detailed so far the performance has been outstanding with smooth multitasking between apps launching apps the snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor coupled with the ram size 8 gigabytes on the base model and 12 gig on mine ensures a lag free experience even when running demanding apps and games switching between apps is nice and easy and seamless and there's no noticeable slowdown even when running multiple apps running in the background on the tablet the s pen integration has been seamless for me allowing precise note taking and creative tasks whether i'm jotting down ideas sketching or navigating through the user interface the s pen offers a responsive and accurate experience the tablet also supports ear actions which allows you to perform certain actions by waving the s pen in the hair i generally don't do that a lot it's a unique and convenient feature to add with an extra level of interactivity the battery life also has been impressive with moderate usage, including web browsing, video streaming, and occasional gaming, the Tab S9 easily lasts throughout the day, even with heavy usage sometimes, it can still provide a full works day's worth of power. And when it's time to recharge, the 45 watt fast charging support ensures that you can get back to using the tablet quickly. Overall, I am impressed with the initial experience of using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 coming from an SS Lite. It offers premium design, stunning display, and powerful performance on the go. That's my summary of the usage. One standard feature of the Samsung Tab S9 is its compatibility with Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX is that feature that helps you fully kind of turn your tablet into a desktop experience by ensuring that you can have multiple windows side by side and perform a whole lot of multitasking function. And you can also connect this to an external display but note that when you connect the tab s9 to an external display if you're using the new mode it only duplicates the display but if you want to extend the display so then have a tablet interface on your tablet and a desktop interface on your external display you would definitely need to go to the old mode on the dex settings on the tablet i think that's just a caveat i opened the future samsung is gonna fix that with a software update one other neat feature of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 and I think with most of the new Samsung lineups is multi-control which allows you to share your peripherals like mouse, keyboard between your Samsung devices. For example, I can control my Samsung S1 Ultra and my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 using the same mouse and keyboard by just connecting it up and then just moving it around. And that makes it easy for me to be able to drag and drop files, share, copy files within applications, and generally just be productive on the go. For me, productivity is the main thing I try to achieve from time to time with all the kind of range of devices I try to get for myself. Talking about accessory options, Samsung offers some impressive accessories which doesn't actually cost a lot i actually like the fact that the s pen comes bundled with the samsung galaxy tab s9 but for me i'm not sure i will be going with the samsung official accessories like the galaxy book cover the folio cover and all the rest of the accessories because i feel they're expensive so i went with other budget options which i'll be doing a review video of in upcoming videos in the future for example i have the logitech pebble mouse and keyboard combo i also have the doku maglev keyboard case for the samsung tab s9 which i've been using extensively a lot in my setup and of course i also have my bluetooth headsets and earbuds that i use from time to time which don't cost a whole lot like the samsung official ones but that's not a this samsung it's just a personal preference if you like to go with the samsung official accessories that is something that will actually help you quiet out a lot but of course you need to be ready to push out some more amount of money for that now in terms of overall review after using it for a couple of weeks now i can say I like it so far i enjoy the fact that i can be productive on the go with a range of accessories and the fact that it is pretty much light and i can do most of my desktop activities on this also at least once i'm in the browser some mobile apps are still not as compatible on the android ecosystem even some ios ecosystems also at the moment but for most of the things i need to do on the go like consuming media writing and you know, updating and just consuming 
media on the go and drawing, sketching and planning stuff, this comes in handy for me and I don't have to worry while I'm on the go. And of course, whether I'm even in my home office, I can use this to watch videos, consume media as I work on my main computer system. And I think that's my overall review of the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. If you like this video so far or you're considering getting one, I put some of the links in the video description and also pin comment for you to check out and decide for yourself if it is something you really want to get. But I think overall, I like it so far and I've been using it extensively actually. And I'll go back to actually using this as my, as my teleprompter device because currently I'm using my phone because I'm reviewing this for you. Uh, but generally, I like it. It's, it's, it's pretty nice and, and easy. You know, it feels premium. Of course, I'm not trying to bend it. Yeah, this one here. I like it. I like it feels good and the glass feel is also nice of course it's touchy and you know it's it's what it is i like it that's what i think about it and of course if you like this video so far give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet so you don't miss any further videos like this one until i come your way again with yet another video you know what i say stay safe and goodbye